Hi everyone, um, so today we're going to be exploring uh, into how to grab the hard drive information off of your computer programmatically in C Sharp. Uh, basically we're using what's called WMI, I have no idea what that stands for, but it lets you get system information off of your computer, uh, which is very important for certain applications, you know, when it comes to servers or just, you know, like and you want some sort of report generated, you know, this is how much hard drive space I got on here, got these hard drives connected, um, and in the future I'm going to add some stuff, like, so you can get, like, computer name, processor, motherboard information. Uh, I actually already was doing that earlier today, but this one specifically here, we're going to deal with hard drives and just, you know, like, how many sectors are on that hard drive, blah, 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 all that stuff. All right, now here's the screencast coming up. Okay, uh, today, uh, just using Visual Studio here, I'm going to open up a project I already started. Uh, it's just called WMI Access. I have a bunch of other projects in here too, I'm sure you can see. But anyways, uh, I already have it kind of all laid out here and created. But I'm just going to kind of step you through kind of the different parts of using this sort of thing. So there's one major reference you need to add when you're doing this. Uh, this is a C Sharp app, by the way, if you didn't catch that earlier. I'm just going to go down to uh, System here, System Management we're looking for, right here. So it should be version 2. Uh, I am using the 2008 version of Visual Studio, as you can see here. Uh, anyways, I'm going to hit OK. And uh, if you didn't have it already, I already got it, so I'm just going to hit Cancel. Uh, now I'm just going to open up, there's just one CS file for this. Uh, this is a console application. <coughs> and uh, as you can see, it's a normal console application. I have some imports here, namespace, class, and static void main. Here, uh, I just kind of, this is just for my personal use right now, so nothing too professional looking here. I'm just saying, you know, starting here is going to be all the disk information. I declared a bunch of strings here and set them all to just nothing, uh, just so they're initialized to something, not you know, not literally null values. Uh, anyways, so string m type, blah blah blah. These are all the different uh, things that we're going to be gathering, all the little bits of information. Uh, we're going to save them as a string value, and then we're going to output them to the screen. It's kind of what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit here. And it says right here, get all the disk drives. So this means we're just going to you know, scroll over here. Uh, using the management object searcher, which is one of the things we've imported here uh, under systems system.management, uh, I believe. And basically, uh, let's kind of look what we're doing here. It's a select statement, which, you know, if you're familiar with SQL, this looks very familiar to you then. Uh, select star, that means all from Win32 disk drive, which is basically like where Windows stores all the disk drive information for your computer. So, you know, when you open up my computer like like so, and you see all this listing of stuff, that's kind of where it comes from, how, it, how Windows itself, you know, manages all that information. So, we're getting it from new management object searcher and putting into a variable called moss disks. And it's, I actually got all this code pretty much uh, and just modified it from a Microsoft site. Um, anyways, yeah, so this is a console app, so I'm just starting it off with a little like line here to kind of separate some of the information. And I'll, you'll see those in later too. Uh, it's just a big for loop here, doing for each uh, management object. We're gonna make like a mo disk here in mossdisks.get. These names are weird, I didn't choose them, but they make somewhat sense. Anyways, so basically goes through everything in here, and uh, for each item, which was modisk, it's going to do some stuff and get some informa inf the information out of it. Uh, I put this inside a try because uh, not only is it a good habit to use try and catches, but also it's good to know that uh, Basically, if you have removable media, like you know, like a memory card reader attached to the computer, and there's no information attached to that particular, uh, like there's no memory card in that that card reader, it's going to error when it can't find all this information on that card reader. 
So <clears throat> basically, uh, you need to have the catch in there to catch exceptions and to skip over that device. So kind of just going to go through everything we're getting here. We're getting the media type. So is it a hard drive? Is it a removable de device? What is it? The model. So this will tell you, like, is this a Western Digital we're dealing with? Is this, you know, like some sort of flash card? Just USB drive? What, what are we dealing with? Serial number, that's kind of cool. Serial number of the device, interface type. Um, actually, no, I think that's just showing, like, is it SATA or USB or what is it? Size, this is nice. What size is the device? Is it 2 gigs? Is it 50 megs? What is it? What kind of partitions it has? Whatever the signature thing is. Found that. I'm sure that could be useful to somebody, so I'm going to leave it in there. Uh, I mean, it's all text information. It's not like it's going to take up a lot of room. Uh, firmware ver version. This can be important, especially when you're talking about uh, certain hard drives. Uh, there's, you know, sometimes you read online. There's an issue with, you know, like there was some Seagate 1.5 terabytes that, you know, if you had the old firmware version, that they tended to die randomly and have lots of issues. And then just you know, general information: cylinders, sectors, heads, tracks. Uh, I don't really ever use that stuff, but it's kind of cool to know. And I mean, if you're ever troubleshooting a problem with the computer, if you have this data stored somewhere, I'm sure it could be useful. Uh, bytes per sector, sectors per track, tracks per cylinder. Really, this comes down to kind of how how the how's the drive performing, what kind of stuff is stored on it. You know, do you have lots of small files, lots of big files? You know, how used up is it? And then here, I'm just going to write everything. You notice we're saving all these to the strings that we made earlier initialized earlier and now we're gonna write all these strings to the console console.write line and once we're done all that <clears throat> we have the catch statement here I just have it set uh, to what I've noticed is the most common thing removable media not inserted skipping to next device and then after the f end of the each uh, for each loop it's just gonna put in a li nice little line here to separate things I have right here, uh, I'm going to change this later, but right now I just have the thread set to sleep for a long time, uh, basically allowing you to close it, and it'll close itself eventually. This is like 200,000 milliseconds, so I think that's like 20 minutes, so something like that. Anyways, it's a long time. So if we just hit run, this thing will execute just fine. Let's drag this over here so you can see it. Um, and you see it's just kind of sectioned everything off. Let's scroll to the top here. It says type, fixed disk, hard disk media, model Intel, blah, blah, blah. And you see I have a solid state 80 gig drive here and like a 1.5 terabyte Western Digital. You can see by the model number there. And right here is a nice little like removable media not inserted because I do have a card reader hooked up here. And then I have like an old, this is an external, I like this. It shows that it's an external hard disk, uh, which I do have hooked up. It's an old Mac store. Uh, Anyways, that's a real crappy old drive, but I'm using it to hold, hold some photos and things. And then I have a flash drive. This is actually a micro SD card hooked up to an SD uh, reader thing. I uh, like how the firmware shows a happy face. <laughs> that is that is just funny. Anyways, handy little app. In the future, what I'm going to be using this for is actually to output to an XML file, which I will then use another application in conjunction with this to upload that to an FTP server and then have a PHP uh, page uh, that's secured which I can now log in then log into and read all this information remotely so you know I don't have to always be remoting into the server to check on it check in on it I might actually add some like maybe email based reporting system to this I love to make a little like some graphing of kind of how the drive is performing or d changes over time just so you can keep an eye on things because Nobody likes to be surprised when it comes to their hard drives, you know, blowing up and whatnot. Uh, hopefully I can figure out how to add maybe some more information in here. I'd love to figure out how to access smart data. This is kind of a little exploratory project for me. I'm going to be uploading uh, the source code to my website, well, one of my websites, and I'll post a link on YouTube for you guys too. All right, see ya.